Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing super well. If anybody is new here, then hello. My name is Jenna, and I am so happy to have you here. I am doing a little pack and prep day in my life vlog. It might be a couple days in my life. So today is Wednesday, and I leave for Europe tomorrow evening. So I have a lot to get done, let's just say. So this vlog will be taking you guys through every single thing, and including packing. I am going to film a separate video of me showing you guys everything that I'll be bringing on my trip and outfits and things like that. So definitely look out for that. But we will be doing the nitty gritty. So I dropped off my laundry this morning. It's gonna be done later this evening so I can go and pick it up because there are a couple things in there that I need to take with me. I ran and got a coffee this morning at Maman because I'm out of milk and I didn't want to buy more before I ended up leaving for 10 days. I'm also working from home today. So I have a cute little setup here where I'm basically continuing my packing list and trying to think of anything and everything and just jotting it down. But then I'm answering emails and sending out some last minute kind of like tying up loose ends emails just so that everything is good to go before I leave. I'm also getting my nails done today. So these are absolutely terrible. The manicure that I got from home was subpar and like four of my nails ended up breaking. So that's not super fun, but I ended up getting the girl at the salon that I love and hopefully she can do a little bit of magic because this is just not it. I'm not getting tips or anything like I did last time I went to Europe because I don't really wanna pay for it, but hopefully the color and stuff is just gonna help me fly under the radar because they look absolutely insane right now. Um, and what else? So we have packing, nails, laundry, and tomorrow morning I have to go pick up my belt that I got resized, so I'm gonna be popping up to the Upper East Side. We're just gonna be all over the place in New York City, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs. I obviously am going to be having travel vlogs coming very soon, so those will be super fun to take you guys along with, and I would just love to have you on my channel. So I got up super early today, and now it's around 9 a.m., so I'm just going to continue on with work, and then I will talk to you guys right before I leave to go and get my nails done. Honey, say good morning. Okay, so this is my kind of crazy setup that we have going on right now. I have my water, because I always try to have that filled, when I went and spent some time with my friend Caitlin. When I was home the other week, I was remembering that she always used to have a bottle of water whenever we were with her. And so I'm trying to get on the hydration bandwagon. So I always have that filled. This is my coffee. I got a vanilla latte from my mom this morning. It was like two and a half hours ago, but you know that I'm not finished with it yet. And then I'm about to have a little snack. We're doing vanilla yogurt and granola. So I have that all ready to go here. And then my five minute journal that I was just writing in this morning, a Sephora package that I wanna unbox with you guys, a couple of other makeup products that I have to, well not have to, but I'm gonna film a video during my lunch about this little blush combo. And then we have a work computer. And then also my personal laptop was charging from this morning when I was editing a YouTube video that is now up. It's my Zara and Mango haul, so definitely check that out. But yeah, there's a lot of, it was clean this morning and now it already looks like this. Okay, you guys, it is officially my lunch break and I'm just going to walk down to my nail salon quickly to get my nails taken care of. And this is what I'll be wearing. Let me know if you guys like the outfit checks in here better than you do in my room with the full length mirror. I know it's kind of easier to see in there, but I feel like the light's better in here. So let me know in the comments, but I'm just wearing this kind of like sporty, really warm outfit. It's like 27 degrees in New York today, which is actually pretty cold considering it's been like in the 40s. So I did wear my Aritzia Super Puff and I have my Anina Bing sweatshirt. Fun fact, this is the first Anina Bing sweatshirt I've ever gotten. My Polent bag is full of my crap. I have my wallet, my work phone, my regular phone, a lipstick, like lip gloss, um, gloves, and AirPods and sunglasses case. So all of that fits inside of this bag that looks really, really tiny, but I like this one because it's crossbody and I'll be hands-free because I still have my coffee from Amman that I want to drink on my way down there. And then I just have on Ray-Ban sunglasses. So this is the top of the outfit. And then on the bottom, I'm just wearing my black mango leggings, my aloe socks, which I haven't worn in so long. And I'm so glad I dug these out of the bottom of my sock drawer and New Balance 2002 
ours. So really casual, very sporty. And I chose my New Balances because they're like the most comfortable shoes ever. And I have like a 20 minute walk down to the nail salon. So this is like the perfect on the go look, very cozy, very warm. And I cannot wait to get these things taken care of. I'm giving you guys an update from Amanda's room because there's still really good lighting in here. So I'm just like leaning on her bed. But I went and got my nails done. I did one coat of Funny Bunny and two coats of Take a Vow, both by OPI. They cut off all my nails <laughs> because I had like four of them that ended up being broken and they were all different lengths. And she was like, I think we need to cut them all. And I was like, fine, do your thing. So I have tiny little nails for my European trip, which I'm not super thrilled about but the last time I got a little bit crazy and I ended up getting tips put on and I just didn't want to pay for that and I also thought it was completely unnecessary so I just went with this and I did a light color so that they're kind of flying under the radar um I just got chocolate all over the couch because I was starving when I got home and ended up eating a chip witch and I got one of the chocolate chips on the couch and didn't realize it and it's just been like rubbing all over the couch so I need to take care of that quickly and then I will work for the rest of the day then at the end of the work day I am going to do my pack with me so that'll be the whole segment of the video where I'm showing you guys what I'm bringing different outfits that I'm thinking of and I will probably pick up my um laundry before then just so I could show you guys like everything from start to finish I only have like two things I think that are in that hamper that I brought that I don't have here that I need to pack right now. Um, other than that, everything is already here and it's on my clothing rack and yeah, I filmed the video for that. So that was good. I did get a lot done during my lunch break, but they took so long to do my nails for some reason because I was like soaking a lot longer than usual, which was weird because I didn't have any like super heavy color on before this. Um, but I ended up getting back here at like 2.15, which is a lot later, like 15 minutes later than I wanted to. So I'm just gonna keep working for 15 minutes later than what I plan to and then we will start packing which I'm super excited for because I have a ton of really good outfits that I can't wait to show you guys. So this is the chocolate tragedy. I am about to spray my full Lex on it and I forget if you're supposed to wet the stain first but I don't think you are so I'm just gonna let that soak in for a little bit and then the stain should lift right up but this couch is actually in pretty good shape considering we eat on here every single day i also just made myself some breakfast for lunch which is getting kind of old but i don't have any other food because i don't want to go food shopping when i'm leaving and everything is just going to go bad anyway we also had this candle burn all the way to the bottom it's been taking like four months to get rid of the not get rid of but it's kind of like I got tired of the scent after a while, so this can finally go, and we could put a new candle here, but this is where I will be sat for the next few hours, and I will give you guys an update on the stain. Okay, so it actually says you're supposed to gently agitate it, and I just started rubbing at it a little bit, and it's already almost all the way out. So this should be pretty easy, but you can literally see it working right before your eyes. I will link this product for you guys. It's like the greatest thing that was ever invented okay after rubbing it with a paper towel we are completely chocolate free you guys do not kill me but i literally just went on a packing frenzy and completely forgot to show you guys everything while it was out on the bed i think i saw everything out and i was like so eager to see if it was going to fit in my suitcase that i just started going i didn't film a time lapse i didn't do any of that stuff i was literally just being so absent-minded about it that I just was like seeing what I had in front of me and then threw it in the suitcase. And now I have a packed suitcase over here on the chair. And then I have my airport outfit, but I still have the accessories that I'm putting into my carry-on bag out. I'm trying to keep my carry-on really empty because for the most part, my suitcase is pretty much packed. So if I buy stuff, it will go into my little like shoulder bag. And then I also have my handbag that I have to pack. I'm also going nuts because I cannot find my black beanie from Maurizio to save my life. And I was really banking on bringing that because I have my black coat that I'm bringing. I cannot fit the um, camel one. So we just have the black coat and then I have my speckled blazer that I can hopefully put enough layers on and use as a coat. But yeah, we're only doing 
one actual jacket and then one like blazer slash coat. So my black beanie was going to work perfect. I do have my light gray one that I'm going to pack, but I needed my black one to wear with like my green vest. I guess the gray one works too. I just don't like throwing too many colors into an outfit. Um, but it's not the end of the world. I just want to find it obviously because I wear it so much and I'm like, what could I have done with it? So, um, hopefully I find it tonight. If I don't, then sucks for me. <laughs> Um, but I do have my accessories out on the bed that I will show you guys and you don't have to be too mad at me because I did film a full separate video of like the items that I'm bringing on my trip. So I will link that in the description for you guys so you can watch that. And for right now, you guys will get a little deep dive into the accessories because I have nothing else to show you. Okay. So we have some folded towels and linens right behind me because I picked up my stuff from the laundromat, but this is my airport outfit. We have mango leggings my new Zara sweater, and then I'm gonna wear my chunky boots because they're obviously the chunkiest. And then these are my accessories. So my light gray beanie is actually packed in my suitcase now, which is kind of making me think that I should bring my black gloves, which are already in there, instead of bringing the gray, because now we're doing like different shades of gray, when I thought I'd probably wear like, I don't know, maybe we'll bring both. Um, then I have my velvet hair bow. I did speak about this in the video that I'm going to throw this on with some of the outfits just to make it look a little bit dressier. We have my card holders. I actually have to take the stuff out of this one and put it into the brown one just for like filler photos and things. I want to like incorporate some warmer tones and this brown is like a very nice camel color. Then we have two pairs of sunglasses, my Ray-Bans, which I desperately need to clean. I wear them every single day, but I might bring these to shoot tomorrow morning with Avery. So we got to keep those accessible. My Saint Laurent sunnies, Saint Laurent pen, and braid a watch, which I will wear on the plane. But all of this stuff is going in my carry-on with my personal laptop, and then my work laptop is already packed away. If you guys want a quick little preview, this is like kind of stuffed to the brim because I decided to bring my work laptop in there so I don't get stressed out with emails and stuff. But then we have makeup converse which i almost forgot to make room for so these are just right on top there my booties are all the way on the bottom this is the beanie i was talking about and then i also brought pajamas and things like that because i feel like i have to wear pajamas at some point i can't just wear like i don't know random clothes so this is the suitcase this is what's going in my carry-on so very minimal and hopefully i'll have room to bring back some cool things from the trip Good morning, everyone. I kind of left you all on a cliffhanger last night, so sorry about that, but I ended up going to dinner at Pico Cucina, and it was amazing, as it always is. I ended up getting Cacho Pepe because the waiter didn't hear what I wanted for dinner, and so they put it down in front of me. It was supposed to be like a ragu pasta, but I was also considering getting the Cacho Pepe anyway, but I'm right outside of the Acme Studios store, as you guys can see. Avery is on her way and we're gonna do some outfits before I leave for my trip later today. So lots to do still. The only thing I've really gotten done is the fact that I'm packed. Um, but we are leaving from my friend Daisy's apartment. So her mom's actually gonna pick us up and drive us to the airport, which is amazing. Um, but I have to go and pick up my belt first and what else? Packing belt. I want to try to get a workout in and try and answer some emails for work before I leave. But it's a lot going on. It's a little ambitious. I might just try to do emails on the plane. Um, but we'll see. So that's the plan for today. So we're just going to continue the vlog on for all of the other prep that I have to do before I leave. And thankful for my gloves because I can vlog with you guys when it's 21 degrees out or whatever it is right now. I think it's like 25, but I'm just being dramatic. I have my bag of stuff here actually let me put you guys down and show you my outfit because no one's around and avery's not here yet okay so hat is for warmth i'm actually gonna take this off okay so my hat is for warmth i'm actually gonna take it off for this outfit but i have an anita bang hoodie on underneath this Again, we have strangers coming by, we have street cleaners coming by, 
Okay, so hat is coming off because it's from H&M. Ray-Ban sunglasses, my gloves are Aritzia. Hi! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Changing in the street, take one. Okay, here with Avery, we just changed as you guys saw, and we're gonna run through our outfit. Go. Um, jacket is Princess Polly. I just felt so much pressure. <laughs> Click the label <laughs> button. Princess Polly skirt, sheer text tights. These are the best tights to need them, and then the boots I got in Paris. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. Um, I just put my Zara sweater on, and I'm wearing everything else: naked boots, mango leggings, Zara coat. Outfit change number two. I don't know why my hair just feels messy, but it's probably because I didn't brush it today and it's getting a little greasy. So there's my answer. But I just got back to the apartment and was chatting with Amanda for a while because I'm not gonna see her for so long. And Honey too, who's standing right here watching me talk to you guys. But I have everything packed. I just have to like get my airport outfit set aside. And for some reason, I was wanting to pull an audible and change the jacket that I'm bringing, but I'm just not doing that at all. We're just gonna bring the black one because we know that it's gonna match everything and it'll be simple and chic. So I always do this though. It's like, instead of making last minute decisions to chuck extra things in my suitcase, I just end up wanting to switch some things out and taking different things. So we're not doing that. We're keeping <laughs> the code that I have, but I was gonna go pick up my belt at 10 a.m but it's not ready yet. So they asked me They asked me to come at 11 instead. So I'm gonna do a quick workout here because I'm trying to move my body every day and I didn't yesterday. So I'm gonna do some abs slash legs like Pilates circuits that I found on Pinterest. And then I'm gonna get ready to go up to the Upper East Side to pick up my belt. So yeah, lots going on because after that, I am basically just gonna come back here get my stuff and then Uber to my friend's apartment so that we can leave for the airport, which is so crazy. I cannot believe I'm leaving. I was talking to Avery and Amanda about this because they both asked me if I was excited. And I was like, for some reason, things like this don't hit me until I'm like at the airport, like not even on the plane while I'm on the way there. It's like, I have to get to the place and be like, oh, this isn't America. And then I'm like, oh, okay, we're in another country like that's <laughs> kind of like what happens to me I guess because there's just so much going on in my brain before and like leading up to leaving that I'm like I don't relax and like actually soak it in until there's nothing else I can do like, like if I forgot underwear like we're already in London so there's nothing else and I just gave you guys a little sneak peek of where I'm going so um, I'm actually going to a few different places and I'm so excited to take you guys along but um we're not there yet, so we still have some New York City content coming for you guys. I also went and picked up my last latte before I leave. This one's from Urban Backyard and I would give it a nine out of 10. The only thing I don't like about it is the straws or whatever these are that they give you. I'd rather them just make a plastic straw out of recycled plastic and put it in here because a lot of sustainable coffee shops do that. Or honestly, like no straw and just having that like little nozzle top i don't know just some thoughts but other than that the coffee's amazing and i'm gonna miss it but i'm really excited to try out different coffee shops in the different countries we'll be going to so just a little side note soaking in my last coffee and gonna do a quick workout i am just about to leave to go and pick up my belt so i'm showing you guys my outfit before i head out we're getting all the outfit inspo in this video but i have on my anita being crew neck, not crew neck, hoodie that I was wearing earlier today that you guys already saw. And then this is the black coat that I'm bringing with me to Europe. I think we're a little crooked here. And so I just threw this over the top. It's like 36 degrees, so it's actually pretty chilly. 
So I still have a beanie on. I cannot find my Aritzia one still. It's kind of driving me nuts, but I don't think I'm gonna find it before I have to leave because I'm basically going to pick up my belt and then I'm coming back here and then leaving. So it's a loss, but I will find it. I know I will. Um, leggings are mango still. And then New Balance 2002Rs. My Polen bag, this is the Numero Un Nano. I get a lot of questions about this because it's probably the bag that I wear the most out of all of my like more affordable ones. And yeah, I think that's the whole rundown. So I'm just gonna pop up to the Upper East Side quickly and then it'll be time to leave.